If your New Year's resolution is to cook more and eat better, well then this Superfood Friday is for you. We've got recipes for every meal of the day that come together in no time and you only need one pan to make them. So today, nutrition and health expert Joy Bauer is here to show us. I've been trying to pick away at this first one without actually making Ooh, it look like I've good. been eating it already. <laughs> okay, so. So, so this first one is my banana blueberry oatmeal bake. And I'm Ooh. telling you, it feels like you're genu genuinely eating dessert for breakfast, yet mm. it's made with nourishing ingredients you can feel really good about. It's like each bite is a hug in your belly. What's in it? I call it the Ted Lasso of breakfast meals. Oh, so let me show oh, you wow. how to make it. So oh, I take two gone. ripe bananas and I mash them in the pan. Then I add a little bit of yogurt, oh. any milk, vanilla extract, and then two eggs. Now what you want to do, that was a little maple syrup or mm -hmm. honey. The mm -hmm. eggs, you beat them on the side and then incorporate all the wet ingredients. Holy For the cow. dry ingredients, it's oats, it's ground cinnamon, it's a little baking powder, and all of those blueberries, it goes in the oven. And then you could personalize your square. So we have a little squirt of this is the whipped cream. Isn't it so great? Good. Wow. It feels like it's something indulgent it and decadent yeah. yet. And you can make it ahead mm -hmm. and it will last in the refrigerator for three to four days. Or what I like to do is I will wrap the individual squares mm -hmm. and put them in the freezer oh. and it goes from the freezer into oh, the microwave. Oh, Boom, just like my that. Yeah, so it's a great make ahead. Brain. Healthy pasta, John? Yeah. yeah, so before I reveal this one, I want you all to take Taste it and try to guess what the super food ingredient is that makes the cream sauce. Mine's almost gone because Claire has been eating it. <laughs> carrots. No I mean, carrots. I mean peppers. No peppers. There's yeah. peppers in it, but I didn't use it to make the sauce. Yogurt. No. no. I don't know. So I'm calling this my penne a la hummus. Oh, hummus. So this is really interesting. It is creamy, dreamy, quick, and easy. And it brings all that. those comfort yeah. feels. So here's it's how you make it. You put a little bit of olive oil mm -hmm. with cherry tomatoes and oh, seasonings man. in a pan. Mm -hmm. In the middle, a, oh. create a well. You put any type of hummus that you like. Bake it in the oven. Get mm. those cherry tomatoes nice and puckered. Mm. Then you mash it with the back of a fork, and you mix all the creamy sauce together, and mm. then you put in your pasta. Mm. It almost feels like... Is the like, pasta already cooked? Yes. The, okay. the pasta is already cooked. Mm -hmm. I used a whole grain pasta, and then you could garnish it. This is a little bit of basil, and it's dairy-free, but... If you want to add a little Parmesan or mm -hmm. goat cheese or feta, delicious. it sort of makes it next it's level. It's so rich tasting. Yeah. It Isn't does. It? Yeah. It's delicious. Yeah. Got a big hit and of chocolate And it's filled here. with the good mm. stuff. Delicious. Okay. Mm. Little, little Finally, yeah. dessert. Okay. <laughs> so this is the absolute easiest recipe Thank for you. chocolate truffles you'll ever, chocolate ever truffle. make. Okay. There's only three ingredients in this. Oh, wow. And the way that I do it is I melt my chocolate and then I add in a can of pumpkin puree. Ooh. You stir it until it's very Velvety smooth, there's no streaks of pumpkin left. Mm -hmm. Then you definitely put the parchment paper down on the pan, put your batter down, smooth it out with a spatula, a little bit of sea salt yeah. over the top because it gives it that pop, next level, and then in the refrigerator for one hour. And then all you do Wait, it's is just melted chocolate and pumpkin? That's it. Wow. That's it. That's wow. great. And even though it looks like a brownie, mm -hmm. do you agree the consistency it like melts like in your punch. mouth? It's a little bit more like almost mm -hmm. a truffle, right? Yeah. Do you wow. taste the pumpkin? No. no. Not at all. It's really and I love the salt on top. You don't taste love the pumpkin. You don't taste the chickpeas, the hummus. Well, I mean, well, yeah. well done, Joy. Well done. Well done. First Thanks, Super Food guys. Friday of the year. Well, well, happy New Year. All right. Thank you, Joy, for these recipes. Mm. Head to today.com slash food.